G'day viewers and uh, welcome to the 4x4 Adventure Show. I'm DH and uh, I'm on my own today. Off-road slog with prior commitments, wasn't able to make it. But um, I'm sure we're going to have a good time anyway. I've just pulled up here by the uh, Wellington River. Just thought I'd have a look and show you guys an amazing campsite that one day we're going to have to roll out our swags to. But in the meantime, we're going to drop some tire pressures and uh, head up into a little place called Doolan High Plains. Stay tuned and uh, see what we can do. You know, viewers, driving up here, it's just an incredible feast for the eyes. The scenery, got a little waterfall up here that just cascading down the side of the Tambourintha Road. Hopefully it'll be picked up by the camera and uh, it's just a little treat to see. We're currently only 750 metres above sea level. We've still got a fair climb ahead of us. From memory I think Doolan Plains is oh, 14, 1500 metres above sea level. And uh, a lot, of, a lot of corrugation. So I hope the camera's not shaking too much. Even with the tire pressures down, it tends to shake the car around a bit. But yeah, once we get there, it's going to be a really nice campsite, I reckon. Sometimes it's nice to just camp up really high in amongst the snow guts and uh, just take in the, uh, the solitude and just kick back, light a fire and uh, and relax. Well, I just pulled over here on uh, the Tambourintha Road. There is one incredible lookout. Now, I don't know what the mountains are, which one's uh, Mount Howard or Mount Wellington. But um, if you have a look, this is where we are. Quite impressive. A little bit cloudy. And there's bursts of sun that come out from time to time. A few drops of rain, but small price to pay for this view. I reckon uh, if Off-Road was here, he'd be impressed. Well, here on the... Uh Tambourintha Road, I just stopped at some mustering yards that were used during the mantle, cattleman, mountain cattleman days and uh, just thought I'd stop and, uh, and have a look. They're pretty moss covered but impressive to see nonetheless. Let's go have a look. Here we are. These are the uh, mustering yards for the mountain cattlemen that used to be around. You can see that they haven't been used for a spell. Looks like they haven't been used for quite some time, but still impressive to to have a look at some of the uh, mountain country history. There's that magical patrol. Let's have a walk around and just have a look. It's always good to stop and have a look, have a look of days gone by. So the fires have done a bit of damage. This is actually just at the intersection of Tambourintha and Dingo Hill. See where the cattle were rounded up and walked onto the trucks. And the good old Aussie repair. You can't beat the old Cobb and Co hitch. 
Bit of barbed wire, fixes everything. This is a place where, when uh, horse trail riders come up, they put their horses in here when they set up camp for the day. Getting a spot of rain now. I've had a chat with um, with some forestry workers, and uh, they were saying that although Zika Spur is still closed, that Marika Road is still open, but the weather's been pretty uh, pretty rough and cold, and they've had a few issues with their diesel clogging up. Makes me think I should have filled up with Alpine diesel. Hey, we'll see how we go. Hopefully, it won't get too cold and freeze up our fuel lines. Well, viewers, hope you liked that little touch of history. Now we'll um, make our way back to a journey up the Tambourinta Road and uh, thankfully Maroika Road's open so we'll see how we go with that. Hopefully the rain will ease up a bit. It is just just drizzling but if it gets colder I reckon we're gonna be up for a bit of snow seeing as we're currently 1300 meters above sea level and we've got warning signs of ice and snow all year round. Well guys I'm gonna take a trip down Kelly's Lane and uh, not having been there before I figure I'll have a look while I'm up here unless I'm mistaken there could be even a, a hut down here Go right down there and just have a bit of a look. Well, I've just come here down Kelly's Lane and wow, I found a nice campsite. This is, yeah, totally unexpected. Have a look at this river. I'll go up there to the uh, rapids and let's have a bit of a look. This is actually a nice place. It's got a dunny further up. This wouldn't be a bad place to camp either. I figure if uh, Dolan Plains isn't quite where I'm hoping, I might come down here for the night. I'm just going to go sleep on these rocks. Have a look at this. Not bad at all. Well, I've just stopped here on um, the middle of Kelly's Lane and I thought I'll have a beer and uh rain's coming in again and just take it in it's just absolutely magic victorian high country has got to be one of the best places to, to come and visit what do you think of that guys four by four adventure show don't forget if you like this little video and the videos that off-road and i are putting out please feel free to like and subscribe and support the channel and we'll just keep enjoying the high country
made it to the uh, to Kelly's hut, but unfortunately, we're not allowed to go in. It looks like uh, they're doing maintenance and repairs on it. It's got tape all around it and a no entry sign. It doesn't stop us from having a look from here. Yeah, it looks like they're doing uh, some repairs. Oh, well, not to worry. We'll, we'll make another trip up here when, uh, when it has been repaired. In the meantime, we'll press on. We'll follow the track until we hit Howard Road. And then turn around and turn right and head down Howard Road to Arbuckle Junction. And then off to Doolan Plains. So being up here, it's just absolutely beautiful. Certainly a place I'm going to come back to. We have here Alpine peatlands, top of the catchment. Right here, let's uh, let's head up. See what we can see along this track. Certainly will be a nice hut to visit when they finish doing all their repairs. Well, we made it to uh, Howard Road, and now we're just going to take Howard Road down to uh, to find Maroka Road, and uh, then hopefully it won't be too long before we set up camp. It's been a really good track, though. Just a pity that we couldn't get into the hut and have a look. But when they finish it, I'll be coming back. Well, viewers, we made it to uh, Maroka Road. Now we're just going to head down till. We get to the turn off for Doolan Plains and uh, see what we can find there. Hopefully a good campsite and hopefully plenty of firewood and doing a lot of hoping that the uh, weather's going to be kind to us. Oh, a few bumps on the road there. Um, yeah, so must be the centre of Potholes, Australia. So I might slow down a bit. Uh, yeah, so once we get there, we'll see how far the track can take us and uh, look for a campsite, look for some firewood, and then we can, then we can uh, try to cook up some tucker. But so far it's been a good day, a good drive, good scenery, and uh, a couple of river crossings. And now and again, like what we've got now is a little burst of sunshine, so let's hope that'll continue. Well, viewers, I've got to uh, the end of the track and I've found my campsite. It's, it's pretty impressive. I'm surrounded by alpine gums. I walked down just before and what I saw <sighs> sold me on this spot. Plenty of firewood, which is a good thing. The view, uh, can't even put it in words. It is 
everything I hoped it would be. Let's go a bit further and you'll see exactly what I mean. Have a look behind me. This is a camping site. I've been wanting to roll out a swag for quite some time. And finally here. And who cares about the weather? It's like some massive gorge. I'm gonna set up camp, cut some firewood, and watch the sun go down over these, these mountains. It is a pretty remote spot on the Doolan Plains. Just gonna go for a bit of a stroll down here, closer to the cliff edge. Now if I fall off, well the video's cut short. But this is just incredible. Have a look viewers. Way out in the distance is a waterfall. That waterfall is, oh, I can't think the name of it, but it's off Howard Road. Way down on the other side is Howard Hunt. That's the Howard High Plains over there. And uh, I don't know what this gorge is called, but it is, oh, it is certainly worth worth the trip. What a piece of the high country. Well viewers, um, get that cliff in the background. I'm stoked. I figure I'm gonna, it's getting late, I wanna cut some firewood and roll out the swag and just get camp ready and come back here and just take in the view. I can hear the river and it's so quiet and still. Hopefully the weather will clear, but who cares about the weather with a view like that? Well, let's go set up camp. Once we get the fire up and going, I'll cook some tucker. It has been a really good day and the track up here, it wasn't a hard track. I only hit low range in maybe last 500 meters, but the rest of it was just in high fall. Some of the scenery through the trees and the view out here is just incredible. I got the drone up for a spell flew around some some reason the thing nearly landed in the middle of the gully but I managed to bring it back well guys it's getting uh, dark and I can certainly feel the temperature dropping I don't have enough coals to start cooking so that may be a spell before I can do that so for now I'm gonna Say good night and I'll catch you in the morning. Take it easy.